It doesn't even taste Vietnamese, you know? Oh. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Hi guys, my name is Yen. I am a food blogger here in San Francisco, California. Today I'm gonna to be trying three different Vietnamese dishes from three different guys. And based on which one I like the most, I'm gonna go on a date with him. And yeah, it's just purely based on his dish. I don't know what he looks like, so I hope he looks good. So I'm actually from Vietnam. I have a banh mi tattoo. I know a lot about Vietnamese cuisine. I've cooked a lot of Vietnamese dishes, so they're gonna to have to bring their A game. Yo, I'm Terry. Hi, my name is Vin Khoi. Hi, I'm Johnny. I don't know, man. And I spilled my Tupperware all over my car this morning. I'm confident, you know, I've watched a few seasons of Master Chef, so like, I know what's up. <laughs> I like a lot of fried stuff, like I'm a fatty, so like, I made bang hot, basically like mini versions of bang sale, like the Vietnamese fried crepe thingy, except they like come in little circles, right? Like finger picking food, like you can just grab one and like stuff one in your face. I tried making it in two variations, the first one being circular balls, which bang hot usually comes in. The other variation I also so I tried making it into heart shapes. Adding a little love to it. I messed up the batch though. As you can see from here, they're all dried and shriveled. So it's it smells good because of the, the fish sauce too. You put fish sauce in there or is that cap? Uh, that is fish sauce. It's it's um Bangkok. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. She speaks hey. it. It looks like Bangkok because usually Bangkok is like tapioca, deep fried tapioca thing with shrimp on top. But it it look it looks a little strange. <laughs> Bruh. What, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Terry? It's my heart. Oh, it smells good. Mm, that's the batter of the Bangkok. Some dude really put in effort to make it a heart shape. It's kind of messed up, but... Bro, that was my best heart shape. I'm gonna try it now, eh? Mmm. Okay. Not bad. This person have a good understanding of Vietnamese food because not a lot of people know this dish. It's not mainstream like pho or banh mi. She called me special. Wow. She called me special. The only thing is, it's not crispy. And the batter might be a little bit too heavy, so it's a bit chewy. It's my style, dude. And banh kok is supposed to be crispy. I think it's good though. I think he puts in effort. Damn, putting in that effort, Terry. This, this dish is not a, a common dish to make, and it's also not the easiest either. You have to get the batter right, and then you have to have this little tray with holes in them. So he has the stuff, I think, or unless he used like a, how did he make this? How did you make that? Like a, like the pan, dude. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't take any shortcuts, it seems unless he bought the fish sauce. Did you buy the fish sauce? No, I made it. I think he's, a, he's potentially a good guy. Who, you, from scratch? Wait, you actually made your own fish sauce? Yeah. From scratch? I did not expect to see Bangkok here. So I made a dish that's very close to my hometown called Ram Bap, essentially corn spring rolls. It's very specific to the province that I'm from, Guangai. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Guangai. That's a... That's some pronunciation. <laughs> we got butter lettuce, we got cucumbers, we got mince, and then we got some cilantro. Is that a salad? And then the dipping sauce is soy sauce, fermented tofu, Thai chili peppers, and then lime juice. Hopefully she doesn't think this is gentrified food, so. Ooh, egg rolls, okay. Did he plate this? Wow, he, he did a very nice job plating it. Mmm, soy sauce. But I do have a question. Why is it not fish sauce? Vietnamese egg rolls, we don't use soy sauce. That's a problem. Ouch, she calls my soy sauce a problem. What is that face? <laughs> Wait, what is that face she's making? Corn? Why is there corn in my egg roll? <laughs> Bruh. It doesn't even taste Vietnamese. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You know, it's like one of those frozen egg rolls from the American store. I, I'm, I'm the dead. Yo, this I'm guy dead. was like, this I, I, dish I, I, is from my homeland. It doesn't taste bad, but it's not Vietnamese. We don't put corn on our egg rolls. This guy Vietnamese. Yeah. Vin's more Vietnamese than the two of us combined. I'm so confused. We cook the dishes, but she's cooking you, bro. <laughs> I don't think he's a real Vietnamese guy. He said it's local to his hometown. What region of Vietnam put corns in the egg rolls? Bro. <laughs> yeah, central Vietnamese from Quang Ai. Given what I know that you said is a region, and given that each of these looks 
different. He did make these himself. So I take back that it's from the frozen section. Honestly, I thought you were gonna get roasted. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna get roasted like this. I don't know. He, he's from a mysterious place in Vietnam that I want to visit now. I'm more curious about why he used soy sauce instead of fish sauce. Did she notice that I put yao in there? Like the fermented tofu? I need to meet this guy. I've never had this dish. So where in Vietnam is he from? Oh, my mind is confused. She's like questioning her own identity now. Do you like it though? I like it, actually. I like it. The more I eat, the more I like it. I think the initial reaction was from, oh, this is not what I'm used to. Yeah, she got way nicer at the end. I'm hoping for a banh mi. I hope one guy will bring me a banh mi because that's my favorite Vietnamese cuisine. So I made a banh mi brisket sandwich. So it has some nice juicy brisket here with pickled vegetables and fresh cilantro on top. And I also made this Thai basil chimichurri that is currently melting on my plate here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and there's limes here and a dipping sauce for dipping. So it's kind of like pho, but like in a bun meat. Oh, yeah, and she has a she has a freaking <laughs> tattoo. Uh, so stands are high. You're gonna like this one. <laughs> bun me, bun me. <laughs> I like the reaction, bro. Okay, wow. Who's this man? Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> What's up, baby? It's a pho banh mi. He incorporated pho ingredients. The brisket It's probably cooking pho broth or something. Oh, first sniff. <laughs> what the? He didn't make this, right? He bought this from somewhere. Our restaurant quality, baby. She said this is too good. It's almost too good to be homemade. Was she too good to be homemade? Ouch. But you know, I need more sriracha. And poison. <laughs> I, I put them in. I generally like my food a little bit more flavorful. What? I put so much flavor in it. He did have some. Okay, I actually want to try the, the meat. She dissecting it. If he did make this, I'm very impressed because the meat is really tender. It's just, uh, you know, put a little. <laughs> That's a lot. Mmm, so much better. Oh, wait. Oh, um, for dipping. This dude is legit. For dipping. Please do not drink. For dipping. What am I drinking? <laughs> Don't drink it. This is creative. Yes, sir. He didn't just make a traditional banh mi or a bo pho. He was very creative in, in infusing both of those dishes. And he actually tried really hard. I think this dude probably like, you know, makes sure he's A's in school. And he's like one of those overachievers that is always trying to stand out. What is that? <laughs> She called you a nerd, bro. That's how yeah. it's funny. I'm a bare minimum student. His food is actually really good. So I think he's he's a good candidate. But one thing about me though, so I mentioned earlier that I love banh mi. But another thing about me is that even as a Vietnamese, I do not like pho. Dude, yes! Dude. The plot twist. Bro. The bro, plot I... twist. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. I don't know if this is gonna work out, honestly. <laughs> so he has my favorite dish and also my least favorite dish. What are the odds? Oh. Out of all the bang me's you picked in the world, you chose the one she, uh, she hates the most. You know what my friends told me? Pick the worst one because he's gonna be the hottest one. What the? Wonder what the worst one in her opinion is. Bro. They said pick the one that put in the least amount of effort. But I think all these guys put in effort. Okay, so this guy, I think, knows his Vietnamese shit. Like he knows this dish, which is not very common in America. I definitely didn't know that dish. Do you know yeah. that dish? Yeah, ban Oh, okay. Yeah. And I love this dish. Like it's one of my favorite when it's done really well. This one is egg rolls, but he said it's from specifically where, you know, a certain region of Vietnam. Vietnam, which I've never been to. So I'm actually most curious about this guy. Like, where are you from? And this guy, he's just a wild card. He either knows his Vietnamese food really well, or he doesn't know Vietnamese food, but know how to cook. So he's like, Google, what's the best Vietnamese dishes? Oh, fun, but let me combine the two. That's the second one for sure. Ah, if I have to pick, right? Here's the straight A students right here, right? Mm. It's like an overachiever and I love overachiever. But this guy is like, you know, stay true to my root. If I really have to choose, I do really like smart kids who are overachievers. So I'm hoping it's this guy. He could have just bought this whole thing from somewhere, right? <laughs> I think it's this guy. I think I'll pick this guy. Yo! Let's go. Yo! Let's go. Let's go. Bye, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name's Johnny. Hi, Johnny. My name's Vin Koi. Vin Koi. I'm Terry. Terry. I guess you're hey. the straight A student, yes, right? Yes, uh, You don't look like a straight A student. Uh, no, I'm not! 
I don't know how to straight A student. <laughs>